For the last 30 years, German companies have been investing in Bulgaria to make it a better place to live, work, and conduct business. In this exclusive podcast series, the German-Bulgarian Chamber of Industry and Commerce tells the story of how two cultures meet and work together to create better prospects for Bulgarian society. Let's talk business with the leaders of the most prominent German companies in Bulgaria. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our special podcast series celebrating 30 years of German economy in Bulgaria, powered by the German-Bulgarian Chamber of Industry and Commerce. My name is Irina Obustarova, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to our next guest, the site lead of Commerzbank's digital technology center in Bulgaria, Markus Kröger. He has more than two decades of experience in managing different companies and building international teams. In the past, he was part of the Deutsche Bank, ECCS Group, Rio Tinto Systems. He has been serving as a site lead of the Commerzbank's digital center here in Sofia since its establishment in 2019. Marcos, it is a pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much. Um, it is very interesting that uh, you are heading this huge team now in Sofia without actually having the bank operations. In 2019, Commerzbank established its third digital uh, technology center across Europe in Sofia. What was the reason for this decision? Can you walk us through it? Yes, it will be a pleasure. Um, in 2015, uh, Commerzbank did an analysis how to find the right persons, digital natives for the future of Commerzbank. And uh, we was looking in the whole Europe for different kind of locations. And we found out that uh, Sofia will be might in the future one of these locations. I had the pleasure to uh, build up first uh, with a great team the branch in uh, Prague and then after this was successful done like a test balloon for Commerzbank um, we decided to go as a next step to Poland mm -hmm. uh, which we are there in uh, Wuc this is 110 kilometer from the capital and then last but not least there was a decision it was a little bit longer because we have had no branches we have had no bank here uh, in uh, bulgaria to come uh, here in bulgaria and start in 2019 so uh, we started the whole process of the registration of the bank in 2019 but as we are the first bank here in bulgaria which are here as a bank but doing no banking operation it took us some time to be there <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, and even COVID uh, has an impact on us, of course, Did it help? Uh, <laughs> not, you know, really. <laughs> not really, but uh, it also doesn't stop us. So we had good partners here in uh, Sofia and in Bulgaria, which helped us to establish this branch. And we are really proud after three years that we have more than 450 people. We are heading already to the 500. And uh, I think um, thanks, thanks to this great team, which we had and which is supporting us, uh, we have here a really good future. Mm. Tell me, what is the role of the Bulgarian entity in the context of the whole organization and also what would be the role of the Bulgarian Center for the further development of the bank? The for, for the further development of the bank, the Bulgarian Center is really essential. Um, we find uh, more and more hard in Germany the right mindset and the right skills. Therefore, uh, we had the need to build up this center and here Sofia started in a very small operation and now with more and getting more and more mature we're getting more and more the whole development we have changed the bank into 18 into agile operations mm -hmm. and there we have different kind of sales that means from the developer to the product owner uh, these guys working together and uh, we started over different kind of locations means with Germany first but now more and more we get the whole responsibility here to Sofia that also the people who has uh, the responsibility for the whole product are situated here in Bulgaria so wow. it's getting more and more um, also people who are leaving in Germany are not replaced in Germany, they are replaced then here in, in Bulgaria. And therefore the center is getting more and more an essential role in the digitalization of the bank. Wow, this is a sign of a great trust actually from, from the leadership. Yes, yeah, thanks to the colleagues here, we mm. really need to say, and also to our colleagues in the other centers. They uh, started uh, as a you know, long workbench approach, it called, 
And in that days, we started as nearshore centers. And now, mm -hmm. if you see our name here in Bulgaria, we are not a nearshore center. We are a digital technology center. This means that uh, these great partnerships and also the colleagues in the other locations did a really great job and also satisfied um, the German colleagues to give us more and more responsibility. And uh, yes, we show every day uh, that they can trust us. We take over, we assist, uh, we also support London, we support New York. So wow. uh, it's a great team and we are really happy to have it. You mentioned that um the success is also a product of a successful partnership. You are also partners of um, the AHK, of the German-Bulgarian Chamber of Industry and Commerce. Can you tell me a bit more about the impact of the Chamber on the development of the Digital Technology Center in, in Sofia? It is playing a big role for us and it is an important part of the puzzle which we have mm -hmm. here uh, all together. So during the establishment, uh, RK was helping us really with the network they have. Now we are a part of this network and we also can contribute in this network. Mm -hmm. But in several things, we still uh, get a lot. So there are exhibitions, there are meetings, uh, education uh, purposes driven by the RK and uh, we need this network of the RK to be uh, very successful and we are happy to have them. So I think currently the whole discussion about Bulgaria maybe joining the, the Eurozone is uh, bringing us to the point where we want to reevaluate also our membership in total and what uh, it brought us. To what extent was the membership of the Bulgaria in the European Union um, critical for the decision of Commerzbank to establish the center here in, in the country? Uh, it is essential for being for us uh, to have a branch in the EU. Thanks mm. to the banking regulations and GDPR and everything, you need to have a branch which is situated in the EU. And uh, for us, uh, when uh, I, I don't know how the decision will be for Commerzbank if uh, we have a branch outside the EU, mm. because this has a very big impact to all these regulations and uh, in the end also to myself. Yeah, thanks to the EU, I have the chance to be here and uh, to work here. And uh, we have a lot of colleagues. Uh, who are relocated from other EU countries here to Bulgaria. I think for Bulgaria overall, to being a part of the EU is in a lot of things really essential, at least in the IT business. Mm -hmm. If you develop something, you need to have uh, often GDPR and other rules, uh, means data protection and data security. Um, we are in a permanent order, the EU and also Bulgaria as a part of this are in a permanent uh, contest uh, with other uh, locations around the world. So you mentioned before that uh, Commerzbank isn't uh, operating as a bank in the Bulgarian market, but still you are in the meanwhile a very big employer in the country. Uh, can you share a bit more about um, the impact on the local economy that you're having? Yes, of course. First of all, we hire here in Sofia at the moment around 450 persons. In the future, also a little bit more in the countryside. So we will do something like new branches or satellite office in the countryside, which help us to bring also um, uh, economy in the countryside. Already we have a good uh, work from home policy. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we let the people stay. If they are from Russia, from Staratsagor or other country, Shum, they can stay the most of the time there and they can spend the money in these regions, which I think it's also helpful yes. to develop the country uh, here, or the nice countryside of Bulgaria outside Sofia as the center of the city and, and uh, the country. And last but not least, um, Commerzbank uh, is very committed uh, to the local market and to the local people. That means we invest um, a lot of effort in education. Uh, so we try to establish here in Bulgaria together uh, with local governments a dual education from Germany. Um, meaning also in the future we want to have established um, the possibility to support students uh, in the schools but not only in the schools we also collaborate with universities technical university for example universities in Burgas, uh, in Plovdiv. Um, we also send out our own persons there to educate students and mm -hmm. uh, I think we try uh, to pay a little bit back we are part of this community we try um, 
to be and supportive in the way that we also share our knowledge with the people uh, outside uh, the bank. So also we have uh, like talent banks where we educate people and not only ours. So uh, we also spread knowledge back here to the market. And mm -hmm. uh, I think if everybody is doing this, this will make a little bit uh, our life here better in Sofia as we are more attractive as a whole market. And I, this is our goal. I totally trust that. I think um, actually all those strategic investments from the multinational companies um, have contributed a lot to Bulgaria becoming actually more and more um, an innovation hub where we are not just you know an outsourcing place, but we can actually build products, we can uh, be involved in the strategy and uh, Companies like Commerzbank definitely contribute to this uh, growth in the mindset because it's not just knowledge, it is growth in the mindset. But with the Bulgarian society, we have also the right people. So we can attractive or we can at be attractive for people outside Bulgaria, Bulgarians who live in foreign countries. Mm -hmm. And uh, when they decide to come back to Bulgaria, we can be uh, the employer or we can give them the right uh, setup to be and living again in Bulgaria. So I think this is something um, which need to be built up and need to be maintained. And we are not the only one who are doing this. I think uh, this is really one of the quality uh, parts here in Bulgaria of the IT market and organizations like the Handelskammer, uh, the German-Bulgarian Chamber of Commerce are supporting this and uh, trying to build this kind of mindset and this kind of society here in the market, which will help us all as employers uh, and also which are good for the employees. Yeah. You have been operating in the Bulgarian market for two years now and in this short time you managed to grow the team to 450 people and this in times of a pandemic. What is the secret sauce? How did you manage to grow so fast? And maybe also which are the lessons that uh, you could draw from this experience hiring in such a competitive market? Probably less competitive than Germany, but still. <laughs> I would say it's a team. Yeah. Yeah, without our team, we are not able to do this and also with the help of the other locations. So overall, um, it's not one person who do the, f the whole thing or the front runner. It's a team approach. And uh, we have here a fantastic management team in Sofia. Uh, you know, here in Bulgaria, the market is also somehow very referral orientated means uh, you need to satisfy the existing stuff already mm. uh, that you are the right employer and uh, based on this you can do the next step and hire more and um, I think uh, we did in this case very well we satisfied the existing stuff first to stay in Commerzbank so not only sending some messages out hiring them and mm. then after a while you break this so I think this is one of our biggest rules, only bring things up to the table which you can really do and then stay to the things which you have been uh, set in the beginning and uh, with some of these kind of rules and uh, yeah, helping the others, giving a helping hand during the onboarding for all these stuff, these processes was new or mostly. Uh, I think uh, we was able to establish a great management team and uh, with this management team uh, we was able to establish uh, good teams and together with these teams now we are able to uh, yeah, fulfill the requests which are coming from London, from Frankfurt, from the whole Commerzbank group and we are really proud on this. And uh, you continue to grow now? Yes, okay. we are happy that we get more requests and uh, we have a good plan, we have a, also the request to build up more for the future, so we have a bright future for Bulgaria um, as a branch and uh, we like to fulfill the needs which are coming and uh, we like to take over more responsibility and we like to show uh, that we can take it and that we can deliver when it is requested. Can you share a bit more about the projects that you're working on here in, in Bulgaria? Yeah, this is a bright uh, variety of products. First of all, it starts with products like uh, banking apps. So we are in uh, this kind of development of banking apps. We have people who are doing development um, of applications for trading, who support trading applications, so things which are normally not been here before in uh, Bulgaria, or only partly, so in the past, uh, um, yeah, 
specialist like this was flying in also to existing banks which are here in the in the market uh, but we established uh, these kind of ten- you know, technologies here as an on a permanent base yeah, yeah. and um, we also developed there, as I named before, this with the talent bank and other things in part uh, as a part of the education program, which we try to establish. So we develop in these kind of things and niche technologies more and more people, um, which also bring financial power here to Bulgaria, of course, in the longer run, because normally you find these persons in uh, places like London, New York or something. So I think... Uh, um, from a technology perspective, um, uh, we can be happy that we are able first to get this chance to do this, but also we can be proud that we found the people with the knowledge. And this is something where, thanks to the good education system in Bulgaria, we have the right base to start from. And mm-hmm. uh, of course, we want to support it with our uh, programs with the schools. Uh, we do training with the schools. We offer uh, practical periods uh, for schools in Bulgaria. And uh, um, I think this is a good start. And the next uh, point is then later on also for people uh, offer yeah, options beside universities. So the dual education that you can when you are a student at the school, you don't need to go to the university. You have also an option then to get the education, which is worldwide accepted based on the German education. You get a certificate from Germany, you get a certificate from Bulgaria, uh, which is not a university certificate, but it's sometimes not needed. Yeah. yeah. And last but not least, uh, we cooperate with the universities also then uh, to offer their um, then the education, uh, but also with a practical link uh, so that people can work in our systems, that they can see what the real world is, that it's not only a theoretical thing, you direct see what practical uh, can be delivered. And uh, with this interaction, uh, we also get, of course, knowledge back. We share our knowledge, which we have. And uh, some of this is really unique because you need to have the right hardware, you need to have the right equipment to offer these kind of educations and things as we are an international bank, we have this. And uh, you have, I want to call it a little bit a playground where you can educate the people on. Yeah. The bank operates in four countries from what I understood. How do you facilitate the knowledge sharing within the global organization? So we have uh, at the moment uh, four locations which we call DTCs, Digital Mm -hmm. Technology Center. One is London, uh, one is Prague, uh, one is um, Poland and one are we. We work as a team together. So um, Mm -hmm. the bank is in more than 40 countries present and um, in these four locations um, we working as teams. Even we have development teams who are in three or two locations so we work over borders together with the teams we share our knowledge yeah? so when uh, we have a development of um, apps or development of programs uh, it can be also be a part that uh, we as Sofia deliver one part there is another part um, in Germany there is another part um, in uh, Poland and uh, we build this together and we deliver them as a team. Mm -hmm. So for us, no border counts. So we Mm -hmm. really work uh, cross border. We work over cross locations. I have uh, really good other colleagues um, as the CEOs in these countries where we work together. So Mm -hmm. in this way, uh, the pandemic helped us uh, Mm -hmm. as an organization to be a little bit more working together with collaboration tools, meaning and mm. together we build this mixture and it's together a cake which uh, ne- fits to the needs um, of the whole bank. And yeah. uh, the bank trusts us more and more and uh, we are all proud in these countries that we are a part of this. Mm-hmm. So in a way you're coders without borders now. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Somehow we work with our borders and mm-hmm. I think it's nice uh, to have a call in the morning or to see what the Polish colleague did, what the uh, English colleague did um, 
it somehow inspired uh, it brings you forward you can discuss and of course you have different kind of views on some things but together uh, you find it faster yeah? we are very transparent with each other so um, I think it's a really good situation mm -hmm. for our employer and for the whole bank yeah, yeah. so yeah Uh, Commerzbank is uh, also the only bank that has been recognized in the corporate night uh, 100. It's a ranking of the most sustainable companies in the world. What is the bank strategy in this uh, direction and, uh, and also commitment to the ESG? Tell me a bit more about that. It starts with everyone. So also here in Bulgaria, we start with our vendors, with our people who deliver stuff to us or which deliver services to us there we already started looking forward um, that we improve and uh, these kind of checks if we can reduce the co2 footprint mm -hmm. so um, yeah, together with our um, colleagues from uh, procurement uh, therefore we try to have this uh, policy that we really look f the, for buying things locally. So in the manga, we don't try to order things in London. We try, don't try to order things in Germany. We try to order the things which we need here in Bulgaria and then from partners who also have the same values. Um, uh, for us here, it's important to save uh, the environment and to support this. Uh, we, we, when, when we as a center do something, we have this in mind. We're helping also the bank um, Uh, with the digitalization of processes mm -hmm. to reduce, for example, um, yeah, the, the, the need for paper. So uh, when you digitalize processes, hopefully the need of paper is going down. And for us, it is a case. So um, also printing services is not longer needed. So mm -hmm. with our digitalization of processes, we help the whole bank uh, to get uh, reduced um, um, Paper, for example, as a, for example, this paper need, and uh, therefore we try to support the whole bank uh, in this area. Yeah, yeah. yeah digitalization is uh, definitely one of the pillars of the <coughs> decarbonization that we're aiming for. Um, can I maybe go a bit to into more personal questions? I find um, your path to Sofia very curious. You were born in Sweden. I'm sorry, you were born in Germany, but you're actually with a Swedish background, and then you've built a stellar career in Germany. How did you end up in Sofia and how long have you been living in Bulgaria now? Oh, it's a, <laughs> it's a funny story to make this short. Um, uh, I was coming uh, around 2007 here to Bulgaria and it This was... This is when I left, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I had, uh, I had a friend who called me and said, Marcos, uh, Uh, I was living and working before in uh, in Africa, and he said, "Come okay. over uh, to Bulgaria, you will like it." And I was really doubtful. Uh, <laughs> I said myself, "I will try." So I was flying over, and in that days um, there was everything still in Cyrillic. Yeah, so yeah. I called. Um, uh, some family members um, and ask them to help with cur this Cyrillic to find into the direction uh, of Maritza. So I was a part of the team who built up or who was involved in building up uh, here the power plants in Bulgaria oh. in that days. And uh, I had the pleasure to see Bulgaria in a totally other way than it's today. And I think it was more natural, it was more um, yeah, the old uh, way and uh, I like it. I fall in love with Bulgaria and um, still I like it much. Uh, mm -hmm. It's my free decision to be here in Bulgaria. I appreciate the friendship of the Bulgarians. I appreciate uh, the friendship uh, and the culture here in Bulgaria, which every time gives also the foreigners a chance to participate in the country. Mm -hmm. So um, I really need to say there are, this is something which is really unique and uh, also your government is supporting uh, foreigners in this country in this way that you have the option to come over and uh, mm -hmm. to work here in this country and not to build up a lot of um, rules and regulations. And last but not least, um, 
for us as North Europeans, you find here a setup. It starts with a, a AHK, means the Bulgarian Shemba, mm -hmm. and ends uh, with um, the support of the embassy. Um, I think um, you have a beautiful town here or a beautiful uh, city of Sofia, direct beside uh, uh, really dramatic, great nature of the Vitosha Mountains. Mm. You have beautiful uh, weather conditions. You have so many options. Where do you find in the world another place where you can live uh, and work uh, in the town without uh, big delays and getting after you work um, direct into the nature? Yeah? Mm. So for the work and life balance, I would say Sofia is really great. Yeah, and also if you are on the countryside, I think uh, Bulgaria has still so many options open for, for us, for people. Why coming all Bulgarians or so many Bulgarians back? I think this is something uh, which uh, tells the real thing. You can, this country, uh, you can really appreciate and I'm really happy that we are so welcome and um, that the Bulgarians welcome us as foreigners, also as Commerzbank. We are a foreign company, we have values, we try to give something back, but uh, of course it's every time two sides. Yeah, You also need to have the community who welcome you and I think this yes, is uh, in Bulgaria really the case and um, we need to be all glad for that we have a chance to be here mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. I love Bulgaria, this is why I'm here. <laughs> You're now in the position of the leader and uh, after living here for so long, I am sure that you have also good insight into the Bulgarian culture. I was curious, how do you establish um, the right culture for innovation given the fact that Commerzbank is pretty much still a German company, a multinational company but with, with very German background. And then you're operating with a Bulgarian team or a team that is predominantly uh, Bulgarians who have definitely brought some of them, obviously, um, their experience from abroad. How do you design this culture towards a way where you can build products which are operating on the global market? You need to build teams. You need to be transparent. We, we have a really good culture in Commerzbank. We have... Um, a very good support from Frankfurt where we build communities and these communities mm. are going over borders. So uh, you have special kind of topics uh, where you want to meet and uh, this is international in these days. It's not only, uh, it's not German, it's not English, it's not uh, Bulgarian, it's not Czech, Polish. Uh, these are topics which are for everyone from interest. And uh, we have this culture, low hierarchy in our branch here in Bulgaria. We have the open door policy, that means people, more or less, we have open space. There's, of mm -hmm. course, a little bit separated sometimes. If you have uh, things around HR, you cannot share with everyone. Uh, but overall, um, the people sit together more or less freely, but they sit in teams together based on the technologies they work with. And uh, uh, additional to this local identity, which is also important because we are a Bulgarian branch operated in Bulgaria, and we have also local specifics which we need to cover uh, based on our identity, based on the culture which is here. But um, in the end, uh, we have this community and or this community offer where more or less everybody is a part of. Yeah. And there you meet on daily basis, weekly basis, be weekly uh, with the others. You discuss, we have, uh, for example, uh, some tech conferences uh, where also our branch, uh, which is based in or which is organized from Frankfurt for us, um, and there in these tech conferences, we meet uh, with colleagues from other big tech companies. Yeah, So mm -hmm. it's not only Commerzbank, we also collaborate with a lot uh, from Microsoft to Google, uh, etc. And yeah. we share our knowledge, we work uh, with knowledge. We also uh, work uh, with other, or we also cooperate here in the market with other tech companies here uh, or in the Bulgarian market. Okay. Because uh, it's not... Uh, we are not a closed shop. We are part of the community mm -hmm. and uh, we help each other. We work with each other. I think uh, overall the climate is what counts and with the right climate, uh, 
uh, you can attract the people also to stay with you. Yeah, so mm -hmm. um, it it is a lot of puzzles which need to fit together. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, to fulfill, of course, hiring requests means the growth of the branch, but also keeping the people with you. Yeah, mm -hmm. and saying this is something where I like to work for. I'm motivated to stay inside this company. Uh, attrition is one, some, one important uh, part, which I uh, mentioned before. Um, we are keen to attract people, but also to keep the people. And uh, for this, they need to find um, somehow the, the right work balance. And uh, mm -hmm. I think it's not you hire not today people for 30 years and you don't give them anything. You gave them uh, office and saying now there's a computer please develop it's something they want to be a part of the community or today is uh, exchange of ideas uh, also for the possibility of additional education yeah. or the interaction we we are we have the students program where students as young talents join us and it is highly appreciated from the students on one side they see they can play with something but also from our existing stuff, because they are again with students, uh, they got the other perspective. Yeah, and um, I no, think technology is advancing so fast that without this um, lifelong learning process, I don't think that uh, you can stay a good professional. I think what what the technologies five years ago is not relevant today for, uh, especially in the fintech uh, industry in the financial industry. Yeah, and this is also a good thing here for, for for us that we are here in Bulgaria. As you know, the startup uh, mindset is here uh, really good. People like to develop new ideas. They try to develop mm. new ideas. And if you compare this uh, to Central Europe, um, here Bulgaria is really a good site uh, to mm. be. And for us... What uh, keeps you in the organization? What do you appreciate about the culture in commerce one personally yourself? It's a good. It's it's very easy to say. I worked in different kind of banks before, yes. <laughs> and uh, uh, one thing is really unique: um, the mindset of the colleagues to help you and mm. uh, to support you. Um, and uh, I think uh, uh, this is really um, one key. To or for success to stay a long time in in one company, you are or, um, a longer day. You are a lot of times in a company. You are in contact with the with the colleagues and how the colleagues act with each other. Um, I think this is very uh, a key to success. So when you have a mindset of helping and trust in the company, which uh, helps you to get over your day of the daily challenges you have. Um, and uh, also a company which is taking a little bit care of you yeah so uh, you paying of course you paying your time into this uh, company and also this company try to give something back and this is what i said in the in the beginning um, in commerzbank there is really a strong commitment to pay back to the community mm. where we are and I, I like this and i'm really uh, an ambassador for this idea yeah over the past two decades, you have been in various uh, leadership roles and managerial roles. I wanted to ask you maybe to all those who are watching and listening and would aspire a career like yours. Um, what is the maybe most important lesson that you had as, as a leader over the years that you would like to share? Um, that you find a place where you like to be uh, when you start your day in the morning that you find a place where you like to be and that you find the right culture around you, people who help you, uh, who support you, which you also can help. Um, I think uh, really for me, um, working in different kind of countries, different kind of organizations, the question again, what keeps me in Commerzbank? The mindset, the mm. things, the culture. Uh, that I also can identify with the culture and saying this is something unique. This is something where I can pay back. You also need to have the possibility, um, at least I like it, to contribute to this. Yeah, And mm. uh, uh, I think you need to find the employer, if it's Commerzbank or somewhere else, who um, challenge you, but also who, uh, appreciate what you are doing. I mm. think this is something. And um, also um, where... You, you need a leader or you need leaders, but uh, 
you need in the end uh, leaders or managers, whatever they are called, who uh, give you also the opportunity to educate and develop yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think a team, a good team approach uh, brings you faster to a goal and uh, therefore, but you need to have also the possibility to do, get this uh, done. Yeah, And for this, you need to have the right people in front of you. So mm -hmm. I would say if you have a good feeling in the morning when you go to work and also in the evening when you leave this, and uh, you have your challenges over the day, but uh, you like it. Uh, not, of course, it cannot be every day, but overall, I think, uh, and you get a chance to develop yourself. This is something where I was my life keen on, mm. and um, I'm in luck that I'm in a position to have this, yeah. and therefore, and I have a great team behind. It's um, yes. this is uh, something where I was looking for, and I found it, and this is why I'm there. And I try to bring this also back to the colleagues, which we have. Yeah. Markus, thank you for um, this conversation and also, you know, unveiling a bit the mystery of the Digital Technology Center here in Sofia. I was always very curious, like, what do you really do? Like, what is the mission here? But um, yeah, now it feels more like a great community <laughs> after I've heard what you said about the colleagues and, and the team. Thank you so much for sharing that with us.